Hello and welcome to Crumbs and Doilies HQ. Now it's feeling autumnal at the moment guys. The temperature's really dropped, all the leaves are blowing off the trees, so I'm feeling like we need an autumnal recipe. So I like to make this time of year a pecan pie, but instead of showing you that, I'm going to show you something even better, which is a pecan pie brownie. And this is a million times better than a pecan pie because it has a pastry base, a gooey chocolate brownie centre and a really tasty toffee pecan topping. So you guys are going to love it. Let's go. So the first thing we're going to need to make is the base. And this is just a really simple pastry base or a little bit like a kind of shortbread biscuit almost. And it's only got three ingredients, so super simple. I'm going to be using a food processor, but you can do this with your hands just using your fingers and rubbing. So I'm going to put all my ingredients into the food processor. I've got 120 grams of plain flour, 120 grams of butter, and this is just cold butter straight from the fridge and then some light brown sugar and I've got 45 grams of that and all I'm going to do to get this going is pop the lid on and I'm just going to pulse that until it starts to clump together. And then you can just turn that out onto your countertop and give it a really brief kneading just by hand until it all comes together. And now you can put it into your tin, and I'm using a seven inch tin square, and I've lined it, um, greased it and lined it with baking paper. So I'm just gonna pop that blob in. And now using the back of a spoon or a spatula, you just wanna press this into all the corners into a nice even layer. And when you've done that, you just need to bake that at 170 degrees for 20 minutes. So my base is baked and it's cooled down now, so now it's time to get on with the brownie part. And this is my classic brownie, which we use here at Crumbs and Doilies. It is perfect, just enough cakiness, just enough fudginess, and you're gonna love it. So I've got my mixing bowl here, and I'm gonna start by beating my eggs and my sugar together. So I've got two large eggs, and I've got 165 grams of caster sugar, and I'm going to whisk that all together with my mixer with using a balloon whisk attachment. After about five minutes of whisking, it should look very much paler and fluffier. So now you can add the chocolatey bits. So I have already melted 85 grams of dark chocolate. I'm, I've used 70% cocoa solids chocolate and the same weight of butter. I just did it in the microwave and stirred it all together. And now I'm gonna add that and just whisk it in. And once that's really thoroughly mixed, you can then go in with your dry ingredients. And I'm going to pop those straight in over the top just through a sieve. So I have my plain flour, and I've got 60 grams of that. I've also got 25 grams of cocoa powder. And last but not least, I've got a quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and baking powder. And now I'll just shuffle that through. And then fold that in just on the lowest speed of your mixer. Now that should do it. So now all that remains is to bake it, but we're gonna put it straight over the top of our lovely pre-baked pastry base. So just whack it all in, spread it out. And once it's as level as possible, you then need to bake it, obviously. So I'm baking this at the same temperature, 170 degrees C, for 20 to 25 minutes. And you wanna just check it with a skewer Definitely err on the side of underbaked rather than overbaked because it's much better when it's a little bit fudgy. Okay, my brownie is baked and it is now completely cool. So we can get on with the next bit, the last bit, which is in many ways the best bit, and that is the pecan pie topping. So it's very straightforward. You just need a saucepan and a heat sauce, obviously. And I'm gonna start by putting uh, all of my ingredients in, except for my pecans. They go in at the end. So I've got 75 grams each of light soft brown sugar, double cream, and maple syrup, along with 50 grams of unsalted butter, and then a quarter of a teaspoon each of cinnamon, salt, and vanilla extract. And then put that onto a medium heat, 
and you just want to get that melting and bubbling away and it needs to reach 118 degrees Celsius which is why I have my trusty thermometer here. Use a candy thermometer or one of these probe thermometers but do use a thermometer, it's very important. Right, that's 118. So now it's time to put the pecan nuts in. I've already toasted these in the oven just for about five minutes, just to bring out the toasty, nutty pecaniness of them. And there's 115 grams. So I'm going to put them in and give them a really good stir. And now all you've got to do is pop that on top of your cooked brownie and spread it out. And if you want, you can finish it off with a few whole pecans just to give it a little bit of extra pizzazz. But then the main thing is that it's super duper hot. Don't try and cut into it or eat it just yet. This needs to cool down completely. It'll take about half an hour to 45 minutes. And then once that's done, it is ready to eat. Look at that. You can see all the lovely layers already, but it's going to get even better when I cut it up. So let's do that. Would you look at that? Oh, look at those lovely, lovely layers. I think I better just try it. Mmm, mm, yum, yum. So we've got a soft pastry base, a gooey, ooey chocolate brownie, and then a chewy, <laughs> gooey, gooey, chewy. We've got chewy top with all those nuts. Mmm, that is pecantastic. So do give it a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments box below. Please do take a picture and put it on Instagram using the hashtag Cupcake Gemma. That way I can see it. And I love seeing your bakes on, on Instagram. And I'll be back next time, next week, with another video. So I will see you then. In the meantime, I've got a lot of yummy biting and chewing to do. So bye.